Hey, I'm Toothless. I'm a Synodica player. I like doing things such as spending what feels like hours of my time at a loading screen. I also like to spend time in my base and not go anywhere because I'm afraid that something like this will happen. Okay, on a real note, uh, <laughs> I actually have all of the supplies that I need like, that, to survive a Reaper attack, and I still won't go out towards the Aurora, no matter what. I will not do it. Like, I just won't do it. I won't go over there, because it's just not worth it once you are done. It's just not worth it once you've done, gone to the Aurora. It's not worth it. But no, uh, I'm just here to show you this actually really, really unique game. So, uh, the basic premise of Sonata is it's an underwater survival game, but it's also a horror game when it wants it to be. Alright, so my actual goal in this video right now is, like, I already have a fabricator up, but I want to completely get my Cyclops ready to go down into the uh, lava zone, which is a little later event, not because I want to be ready and not have to go down and maybe go back and forth uh, between and for trips. So, but I will need a lot of titanium, and titanium is the lifeblood of this game. And uh, the things that I'm talking- so, the thing about Somnolica is, like, all of this, all the stuff that I have, it's pretty much late game material. Like the Cyclops and the Pawn Suit are late game material. You will first start off in this little uh, life pod, is what it's called. So you would have just been inside this life pod, you would have just gotten out of this, you would have just put out a fire here, you would have opened up this, and then uh, it's empty for me because I already took everything out. But then you would just have to basically repair this life pod and the radio and everything and then you come up you see the ship it'll explode that's always fun and then you just on your own to go exploring well and because i basically know how to play this game i fully upgraded the sea moth it did not take me very long at all but it was a little bit too late because i didn't even make it the first island by the time i uh because i got my perimeter defense because i thought i would need it but no, I'm, I'm over, I feel like I um, over prepare sometimes, but it's better to over repair than to under prepare, I guess. I'll never know. You never know what reapers are doing. The only way to really like avoid them is if, what am I, do? I have so much work to make you like. The only way to like really be truly ready for leviathans like the reaper is to just know where they are and just have the proper equipment. Also the suit that I'm wearing right now, it is like a material as well. It's called the reinforced dive suit. But yes, I will need a lot of titanium because I actually should probably empty out my weapon because I'll need lots of walkers. But, okay, you know what? Um, let me grab my scanner, my knife, and I don't need, don't think I'll need the repair tool. Actually, no, I'll take the repair tool, I guess, but, um, laser cutters. So I'll put spaces right over here, that here, and then I'll flip them, and there you go. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna definitely need titanium and titanium. No, that's a bunch of lithium and stuff. That's a bit of it. Okay, I only have high. I only have six titanium to my name. All right, I'm gonna need to go to the creep vines. So I need to get summer. So yeah, this game like you will not. If you don't know what you're doing in this game at first, you will probably be very cautious about the world. But like, I would suggest that you be cautious. Because you never, like, cause, I, but, uh, I wouldn't be too cautious, like this, like the first early parts of the game, it's like, it's really, really easy, maybe it's, it's like a very calm e ease into the kind of thing game. Like it eases you in very nicely. Cause like, the, you'll go to the creep vine area, like this is the creep vine zone, if the world would decide to load in, you'll see what I mean. But, um, you need to find metal salvage. There we go, that's starting to load in. Oh, I hear a stalker. There it is. Yeah, so you'll find this thing. 
but as long as you hey, 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 hey. no no back my cyclops no, not cyclops it is mine go away both of you oh no that's just one leave me alone oh no he's going after something else okay um i know what it is i am just oh there's salt there like just a little bit later uh i'm just looking for metal salvage but yeah you'll run into a stalker but as long as you just like defend yourself you'll be fine it will attack you for a bit but as long as you have a knife you are fine you do not have to worry about it. Those are really the only dangerous things in this area, I get in this area a bit. Well, there's also mesmers, but you won't run into them very often in here. And there's different modes in uh, some Nautica, so you could either go creative, you could go uh, hardcore, which is if you die, it's over. Uh, it's basically survival, but there's no O2 alerts or anything like that, and it's just... Oh, soccer shoot! That's nice! Uh Alright guys, I got, I think I got a pretty good amount of titanium. I am going to go back and I'm going to actually heal up real quick. I'm going to heal some up real quick. Ah! There. Ah! No! Repair! Repair her. Stop it! Okay, I was holding the wrong button. Oh my god. <laughs> I was holding the wrong button. Alright, Pyro. Time to get out. You're nice and comfy, but you need to be up. Yes, this is what I don't need to. Add a storage. Can I get can I not get it into you? There. And it. Thanks, buddy. And we are up. Alright, yeah, I think I have a pretty good amount of titanium now. I say that and then I'll probably have to go back to get more. <laughs> um, but I do, I will definitely need a lot of titanium. Okay, let's see, let's make some more. Yeah, you'll never have enough titanium in this game, guys. You're gonna run out. It is, no, it's inevitable that you're gonna run out of titanium at some point. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk to a little bit more about the game. Good job. Okay. No, I'm supposed to talk about the game. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's not. It's not a hard game. Like I said, it's not like meant to be a hard game. I guess it never really was meant to be a hard game. I don't think it was ever really meant to be. I really could make the med kit. I probably shouldn't make the med kit. But yeah, like, you're all you really have to do for some Nautica to just like get things done is to just. Oh my God! Why are you here? I keep forgetting that they do this. Hey, 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 hey! Are you going after my camera? Mate, if you're going after my camera, I swear. Go away. Yeah. See, they like, they will come sometimes. Like you just saw. <laughs> Like I told you they come. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my god, it's all Seriously? Yeah, they come after your cameras. Oh my god. Get over here. Are we stalker teeth around it? No, it's not even there. Oh my god. These stalkers, man. I swear they do this on purpose. What's this? There's no place that it could be safe. Like, I put it, like, right under... I'll put it right underneath Henry, actually. Uh, anyway, going to bed. Yeah. Alright, so I wasn't really talking too much about the story in that first segment of the video, but here I will, because I'm going to be talking more about, like, my favorite parts of the story and all of that. So when you first land on uh, 4546B, which is the name of this planet, you'll be on your life pod and all that. So then you'll just be exploring in the water for a little while. Then your PDA will be like, we're exploding, we're exploding. Oh my goodness, oh, no, the aurora is exploding. So yeah, it explodes. 
there's another part of the story where like you get contacted, like you get a little bit of hope from a, a training ship called Sunbeam from one of the uh, other, I guess, huge companies of this world. And um, like they come, they say like they're here to rescue you. Yes, uh huh. You guys like excited, and then they send you coordinates. So you get on the island, and you realize there's a weird building, and then the bu building's like just like oh, that's, that's, that's a weird building. And then um, yeah, you never end up being rescued. <laughs> they explode as well. And the reason, sorry, the reason that they were exploded is because the planet is under quarantine. Good, because we're all under quarantine over here. The Aurora also was shot down by this uh, quarantine enforcement platform is what it's called. But yeah, it's under quarantine by a virus called Kara. I don't know if I have any PDA data. Maze report Leviathan class critters. Pam, <coughs> ring for Leviathan. <coughs> uh, Ghost Leviathan. <coughs> and my favorite Leviathan. Uh, sea Dragon. Uh, water containmented with high levels of foreign bacteria. Mm hmm. And planet is beyond Federation space re rescue, unlikely. So, yeah. It's not recommended to explore the environment without hazardous materials, suits, and extensive support apparatus. Yes. Uh, what is this? So, if you're reading this, then you have survived an emergency evacuation of capital class ships uh, equipped with the Aurora technology. Congratulations, the hard part is over. <laughs> no. Full monitoring of vi uh, vital signs of for timely survival advice? Yeah, it yells at you, oxygen, and seek fluid intake, or seek calorie intake, Cal calorie intake recommended, or seek fluid intake immediately, Cal intake calories immediately, <laughs> and stuff like that. Uh, specimen with, this is what, this is it, okay. This is my one. The organism is displaying signs, this organism is displaying signs of bacterial infections. Light green blisters are forming networks around the infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior, the bacterium itself is unlike any so far reported in human exploration, may be contagious of void. Do not under any circumstance consume the flesh. <laughs> Too late. And then this is the, this is also a huge part of the story, and I will explain it in a little bit. A peeper specimen was observed emitting a faint fluorescent enzyme trail that engaged in unusual behavioral patterns. Peeper is actively approaching other creatures, including predators. The specimen is hot uh, to a bacterial as a host to bacterial infection. However, the infection is currently dormant. Peeper stomach capti cavity contains an unknown enzyme of foreign origin. Chemical an an analysis of an enzyme bears some superficial similarity to the stomach enzymes of larger predators. <clears throat> That's important. Contact with the enzyme appears to inhabit the symptoms of the bacterial infection, again important, and complex structure renders synthesis impossible. I don't know what that means. Uh, as I said, recommended further research into enzyme, enzyme origin. Now, I want you guys to listen carefully to this next part. <laughs> Major spoilers right now, okay? So that was what's called the Sea Emperor, Leviathan. It is pretty much, she is the last of her kind right now, and uh, she is what is creating the enzyme for, that the peepers have. So the reason for that is she's keeping the planet alive because Kral, like killed over like four billion things. Like, uh, worldly building, be, be, beings, I can't speak, like about billions, and I think it's going to be billions, I can't remember, I don't have to research yet. So the, uh, sea emperor, she, and like, their species creates enzyme 42, which is what it's called. And it's the, like, it's a vaccine, basically. It's like the, it's like the COVID vaccine. And your goal of this game is basically to find her, cure the, cure the planet and then get this rock and back home where you can play, pay 3 million credits. <laughs> Not fun. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's your point. So you have to go way, 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 way down, like 1,700 meters down to get to the sea emperor. They should also talk to you a little bit more often, but I only had one interaction and it was funny because that day I was with one of my friends, you might know him, Toasty. Um, but yeah, I was playing, I was just messing around with Toasty. We were going around and I was going to the 
alien, to the first alien planet, uh, not planet, uh, first um, island, oh, in that direction. and I, we were kind of just like, we got back, we emptied our stuff, and then I was like hoping that the message would play, and then like I was just sitting down, I was looking at my phone for a tutorial, and then I look up, and it's, and I hear it, and then I just look up and see it's happening, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and I was so excited, <laughs> poor Toasty was just like, oh my god. <laughs> it was like my favorite, it's my favorite part of the game. Sorry, I had to go to bed real quick, uh, but yeah, I was just to say, it's my favorite part of the game. Like, I love it. I love when we get to interact with her. She is, like, the, the only non-hostile Leviathan. She is the only one. But she is not my favorite Leviathan. My favorite Leviathan is the Sea Dragon, which, for obvious reasons, it breathes fire, it looks like a dragon, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> self-explanatory. But, <clears throat> yes, so they are my, the, uh, yes, so I love the Sea Emperor. She's amazing. Uh, I'm not going to go too far into details because I kind of want that to be a little bit secret, but basically, you know, she helps you, she gives you... Sorry. Uh, she helps you, like... It doesn't take any energy! I'm sorry, I'm so excited about that because then I can actually use it. But yeah, like so she helps you. I can't really think of a way other than just flat out spoiling it. Uh, she, ha yeah, I'm okay. I'm just gonna spoil it. I was gone for two seconds. It's like a dog. Like you've gone for two seconds. It's like hello, oh, you're back. Whee! Anyway, um, but yeah, I, I, there's no other way for me to go around this. Not so. But you help her uh, hatch her babies. That is what ha that's what you do. Like you just help her hatch her babies, in which. Who, it's like she's very old. She's a very, very old uh, creature. She lived like hundreds of that, maybe even thousands of years past her actual lifespan. And like you help her, you uh, have her babies. The babies create in them for you, which heals you. And yeah, you could just you get healed. You go to the quarantine enforcement platform, get injected again. Say so like, okay, are you? Like, this is like a real fucking job, huh? Let me see your arm. Give me your arm, I'm giving you a vaccine. <laughs> You're not. Okay. Uh, but yeah, they do that. Like, they, And then like it shuts down the entire platform and you can build your rock and then leave the planet. Um, back to like when I was with Toasty. Funny story, so we were like swinging around. We saw the Reaper. I knew it was like right over. I remember like we were saying this was the island right here and then the Reaper was like there. So we see the Reaper, it's down there. We're going this way and then all of a sudden a Warper just appears out of nowhere and freaks us out. Oh my god. It was so funny. Like we just, like we were looking for the Reaper. We were already tense and then all of a sudden it just pops up and we like pause the game. It's just like, oh my god. And then I go after it and scan it because Uh, of course I scanned it, but uh, yeah, we got away from the Reaper and did all that. That was so funny. That was also our first interaction with Warper, so that's my first interaction with it. I've never been attacked by a Reaper either. I've never been attacked by it. I remember the first time I saw a Reaper, so I was actually in like, uh, the Grand... Is it? It was like in the Red... The Grassy Plateau, that's it. The Grassy Plateau area. I was over there. So, uh, and then there was the dunes. The dunes are like, they're like, like Leviathan Haven, I guess is the best way of putting it. Like most of the Reapers are there. Most of the Reaper Leviathans are there. And I, I knew that because, and you'll know you're in the dunes. And you'll know when you're in the dunes uh, once you hear a certain message. There it is. Like I was uh, like in the dunes area, I'm like, is this the dunes? And then I come back like to the edge of it and then the message plays like, yep, yep, that's the dunes. I go away, I turn around and I see the silhouette of the reaper. I'm like, oh, okay, reaper, <laughs> go in the opposite direction now. I have had such good luck with Leviathan. And also, uh, Leviathans are the only creatures that are not able to respawn. So um, I sort of uh, absolutely destroyed uh, the two juvenile ghost leviathans in that area. And actually, I have this scan. This large predator has adapted to live in deep waters and dark cave systems, attacking anything and everything in its quest to grow larger. Uh-huh. 
<clears throat> Soft outer membrane in uh, elongated body enable a superior navigation of Kite's cave environments. Displays some similarities to other eel-like predators in the area. However, the ghost of Bison has covered over the uh, that's, that's covered over the electrical prongs in on its inner torso with a taut, transparent membrane which delivers superior maneuverability. Maneuverability. Okay, that's his maneuverability. In its juvenile state, the Leviathan feeds on herb a large herbivores and unfortunate members of its own species. Oh yeah. Uh, they display a remarkable rate of growth, which uh, shows no signs of stopping, suggesting they are, must abandon their hatching grounds before they grow too large and make it for open water. Assessment. Wait. And then I also scanned a reef back, which is the nicest device then, besides the, uh, the... Like, see, look at that threat level. Zero! Okay, so I'm gonna have to end this episode here. If you want me to do, like, more Subnautica content, then I will definitely do it. If you don't, I don't care. I'm probably doing it anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, if you guys enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe. We are, have already 72 subscribers. I promise, I promise, I promise. I am working on uh, <clears throat> animations as we speak. Also, Happy Easter! I am recording this on Easter Sunday, so if you guys celebrate Easter, Happy Easter to you. Alright, bye guys!